what are the two types of uh, seismic transducers? Why are uh, vibrometers and accel why is vibrometer and accelerometer you know known as uh, uh, the type of a seismic transducer? What uh, what uh, what what factor or rather what role does the resonance you know, play in uh, play uh, play while measuring the vibration? Why is basically even the orientation of the seismic transducers of importance for us you know while studying the vibration measuring instruments? Or rather, you know, what is a tachometer? Or rather, what are the uh, so-called difference in the reads, guys, between a fram, fram tachometer and, the, uh, and or rather a Fullerton tachometer? Now, guys, you know, if you are the one, you know, demanding these questions, or you are the one, you know, facing uh, difficulties in these topics or these subjects, guys, you know, this is simply the best course of action, guys. You know, I mean, which a student can, a student or rather a person can have or institutionalize it, guys, you know, by Paying a visitation to this channel. So, hello, and my name is Chandamani, and you know, my uh, I'm your aspiring gynecologist and your so called relationship counselor, and your av avid photographer, and your travel vlogger, and food vlogger, and even the gaming vlogger, and even the singing vlogger. All right, you know, but let's uh, have a grand welcome, you know, to our channel, and uh, let us, you know, basically deal with the so called topic of. Uh, the subclassification between the seismic transducers and number why are the uh, why is the classification of the seismic transducers uh, transducers important and number why do we consider the vibrometer and accelerometer as a two of the types guys of a seismic transducer uh, so guys uh, in order to basically answer those questions guys let us basically take a look back guys as to uh, the instruments you know, which are capable enough to measure the dashboard, the spring energy and the uh, acceleration and even the velocity and even the displacement guys you know, are basically on you know, the chat line as the instruments you know, which are capable enough to um, measure the vibration. So guys, you know, these are all the instruments you know, which can uh, potentially you know, measure the vibration. So guys, you know, these were in fact the vibration measuring instruments. Now, guys, we want to get a deal with the uh, seismic transducers, guys, or rather uh, the types or uh, typicalities or rather subclassification while, while it comes about that so-called topicality of the seismic transducers. Now, guys, well, there seem to be two sorts of classifications, guys, and when it comes about seismic transducers, so guys, you know, I mean, there to, seem to be two kinds of seismic transducers, you know, which, uh, which are all known to us. And number one seems to be the... Uh, orientation of uh, acceler uh, orientation of an accelerometer and the other seems to be an orientation of a vibrometer because you know, these were the two orientations number you know, which I basically wanted to outline and uh, guys you know, why uh, why on earth you know does this so-called orientation really matter and uh, guys the reason behind that is guys that the seismic that the seismic orientation you know basically you know, helps us to determine guys as to what is that uh, what is the factor of uh, Caesar? What is the factor of seismometry? Or rather, the, what is the seismometric? Uh, what is the seismometric uh, input? Uh, input, you know, of those instruments, guys, and which basically you know, measure uh, the vibration, guys. Now, guys, you know, basically, you know, while we talk about vibration, guys, you know, it's simply you know, the measure of the amplitude, the displacement, and even the velocity, and even the acceleration, guys, you know, in a so-called system, guys. So while these four components, guys, such as the acceleration. The displacement, the velocity, and even the uh, so-called um, uh, display, uh, so-called uh, displacement, guys. And while these so while, while these principles, guys, or while these so-called units, guys, or zones, you know, are studied by us, guys, you know, the ninety you number know, one it simply means is that you know you have studied the vibrational, uh, so the vibrational analytics, or rather the one. You have performed the vibration analysis of a so-called system. So guys, the, displace, the displacement, the velocity, the acceleration, and the um, um, and the potential, guys. And you know, the, these four, you know, were in fact, you know, the uh, these four were in fact, you know, those so-called phenomena, guys, and which basically you know, need to be measured, you know, while uh, studying uh, the vibration, guys. So uh, what we're gonna deal with, uh, what, what what we're gonna deal with here now, guys, you know, is that uh, while we uh, while we in fact you know we're gonna study the vibration, uh, vibration, uh, vibration measuring instruments, guys, you know, what we're gonna see, what we're gonna deal with is, guys, that basically there seem to be all sorts of electronic instrumentation, guys, instrumentations, guys, and all of which are 
dedicated to the so-called purpose goals of you know measuring the ability uh, or measuring the ability uh, you know with, uh, which an, another fellow instrument you know has you know the degree of displacement you know which it possesses or the acceleration you know which takes place you know in that so-called instrument or around you know what is the velocity guys of the uh, internal excitation guys you know in it guys you know basically you know it says a lot guys about the vibration uh, vibration measuring instruments I mean, on what we get to deal with resonance, guys. The already, you know, as I to, uh, as I've already told you, guys, that the resonance, you know, basically seems to be a so-called factor, guys, you know, which is really so crucial, guys, you know, in order to know more about vibrometers and even accelerometers. But, guys, you know, what we get to, uh, what we get to deal with accelerometer, guys, the uh, so-called theorization of resonance, guys, you know. Is uh, basically a fundamental principle or rather a fundamental phenomenon, guys, in which is studied or rather analyzed you now in order to know more about that so called accelerometer, you know, which is again an instrument, you know, which measures the degree of ease or rather the efficiency, you know, with which a so called uh, a vibration analysis, vibrational analysis is performed. And number which is why, guys, you know, in order to deal with it, guys. Uh, let us basically, you know, once again, you know, try to revise, guys, and what we have basically, you know, known uh, about the resonating chamber, chambers, rather, the resonance itself. But, guys, and while we, in fact, you know, talk about resonance, guys, and we got to come to know, guys, that when the uh, measure of the excitation energy, guys, and happens to be, happens to be in equilibrium, guys, and with the natural frequency of a so-called system, guys, you know, then that so-called phenomenon, guys, is basically, you know, known as a resonance. So, guys, you know, resonance is simply you know, de determined or uh, defined to be as a pheno phenomenon, guys, you know, in which the measure or the quantity of uh, measure or quality of the natural frequency of a so called body or rather than so called system, guys, you know, happens to be in a state of equivalence or rather in a state of equilibrium, you know, with the internal excitation energy or the excitation potential, guys, you know, in a system or rather in an eventuality's occurrence. So guys, in order to so-called principle of resonance, guys, and it should be very well analyzed, or rather should be very well understood by us, guys, you know, before, in fact, you know, when touching that, touching all those topics, guys, about the tachometers or about the seismometers. Now, as I've already told you, guys, there, there basically, you know, seem to be two orientations, you know, while we got to deal with uh, the trans transducers, you know, which are basically seismometric, and you know, which seems to be the vibrometer and the accelerometer. Now, guys, you know, the accelerometer and the vibrometer, you know, basically, you know, seems to be, uh, seem to be two different kinds of transducers, you know, which are basically you know, used by the uh, industrial standardization, guys, you know, in order to, you know, basically uh, determine us, you know, what are uh, basically the two categorizations of it. And, guys, you know, if you got to do a deal with vibrometer, guys, you know, then what I got to say is that the seismometer, guys, you know, happens to have the same principle of operation or rather happens to have the same operational characteristics or rather the same command and, uh, as the vibrometer. And guys, and what vibrometer is good enough to measure is guys, that vibrometer can, uh, can measure uh, the degree or rather the calculation of the amplitude, calculation of the displacement, calculation of the acceleration and calculation of the frequency guys, you know, in a so-called system. So guys, and while these things take place, guys, and we gotta say, guys, that we have very well understood that so-called topic of uh, the vibrational theory and aero uh, elastic analysis, guys. So uh, as I've already told you, guys, and even before, guys, that the system of reeds, guys, and what basically you know, comes to be in play while we gotta deal with the tachometers or rather the orientation of the tachometers. Guys, and why the reason you know why the so-called reads you know, plays a really important role over there is because some of the tachometers guys you know, happen to have a single read, or rather some of the other sorts of tachometers guys you know, happen to have multiple reads. But guys, you know, reads you know, seems to be a seriously important phenomenon, guys, a seriously important principle, seriously important factor, guys, you know, which needs to which needs to be studied or rather analyzed guys and before before we got uh, perform that so-called distinction or rather in order to basically you know, carry out a demarcation in you know, order between both of those things uh, such as which tachometer uh, has got as uh, tachometer well as what a uni read uh, tachometric uh, orientation or rather a mono read tachometric orientation or rather a multi multi tachometric orientation guys 
in order to you know basically you know deal more with it guys and we gotta study about reeds and the principle of reeds so guys and that was about tachometers and as i've already told you the uh the tachometer you know what it seems to be the fram tachometer and even the furiton tachometer guys and all which we have already studied anyways guys and this was up for our today's video and guys and in case you have not uh, liked or subscribe to our channel guys and please do do that and you know please not you know forget to turn uh, to, uh, to hit on that bell icon and you know uh, basically the comment uh, basically there's a comment in the description below guys about all our fun all our former videos about finite element analysis and term planning and regenerative medicine and even tissue engineering and even what gynecology. So see you on more updates soon guys and have a good day. Bye bye.